Hello guys, welcome to study algorithms and today's problem is finding the longest palindromic substring. First, I'm going to describe the problem statement and show you some sample test cases. Next, we will understand how to go about solving the problem and what issues you may find while working through it. Then I will compare the code side by side and do a dry run to show you how it exactly works. So let's dive into the problem. As you know, a palindrome is a string which reads the same backwards or forwards. So let us take up three strings. We're going to read each of these strings first forward and then backward. Now reading it backward. Going on to the next string. Now reading it backward. And for the last and the final string, taking it backwards. So what one may observe is that the first string race car is the same if you read it forwards or if you read it backwards. So we would call this string as a palindrome. But with the second string study, if you read it forwards, it reads study, but backward it reads something gibberish like Y D U T S. So this string is not a palindrome. And for the third string, madam, if you read it from the front or from the back, it still remains the same. So what we would say is that these two strings, race car and madam, are a palindrome. So given a string, you are required to find out the longest palindromic substring. The important thing to know here is that there could be multiple palindromic substrings available. We need to just return a single substring which has the longest length. So let us take up an example. Let us say we have this string. If you just glance at it, we can see that this string has multiple palindromes. One of the palindrome being DAAD, or you could see one more palindrome as BRB, or you could even see another bigger palindrome that is ABRBA. But indeed, if you look closely, still a very big palindrome that is BADAADAB. So these palindromes all have different lengths. So the biggest palindrome has a length of 8, this palindrome has a length of 5, this palindrome has a length of 3, and this palindrome has a length of 4. So for this problem statement, you need to output the string. And this would be your correct answer. As soon as you look at the problem, one solution seems very obvious. Just find all the palindromes that exist in the string iterate through all of them and find the length of the longest one. This method for sure works, but we end up spending too much time on shorter palindromes and validating them. For example, let us go back to a previous case. As you can see, this example has a lot of smaller palindromes. We have BRB, we have AA, we have DAAD, and then we have even the single letters are palindrome in itself. So we have A over here, then A again over here. So one can imagine that the problem might get, of, might get out of hand pretty quickly. So let us try to think of an efficient way to solve this problem. So the basic idea of solving this problem is you pick up any character from the string and go in the both left and right direction. So let us say you pick up the letter R. Now this letter R is a palindrome in itself. So what you do is you navigate to the right of it and you navigate to the left of it. So the new string that you get is B R B. And this has a length of three. Now this string is a palindrome in itself. Since it is still a palindrome, what you do is you again navigate to the left and right of the string. The new string that you get is A B R B A. Now this string has a length of five. So you are getting an even begin palindrome. You stop as soon as you hit the end of the string or the string is no longer a palindrome. If let us say we have a case like D. So what you do is D is in itself a palindrome. Okay, so you go left and right. Then I get a new string that is A, D, A. 
Now this is still a palindrome. So you again go left and right. Next you get B, A, D, A and A. Now this string is not a palindrome. So the longest length of the palindrome that you got was 3. But in this case you, the longest length that you got was 5. Hence the basic idea of this problem is we iterate through the entire string, go character by character and find the longest palindromes that we can find. Keep Just keep a record of this longest length and in the end you can return this length. So let us see how this code works in action. So let us understand the problem with an example. We are given the string. So what we would be doing is we would be iterating through this string from 1 till the length and keeping a track of the longest palindrome we can find. And the variable LPS would be storing our result and it would give the longest palindromic substring once this for loop ends. The way we start is we keep two pointers low and high. Now these pointers are used to keep a track of the left and the rightmost positions. So we start at position 1. Now this word is a palindrome in itself. That's valid condition. So we go to the left and we go to the right. Now this condition fails. So the value of low and high still remains 1. We can use these values to determine the palindrome that we find and then we would be updating the value of the variable LPS to be equal to P. But we are not done here. There could also be a palindrome of even length. So in that case, what we do is we keep the value of low as 0 and we keep the value of high as 1 and hence we are considering this palindromic substring. But this is not valid. So we would do nothing and we would go on to the next iteration of i and that would be i equals to 2. So when i equals to 2, we again reset the values of low and high and then low becomes equal to 2 and high again becomes equal to 2. The palindromic substring we again get is b. We don't find a valid palindrome in the left and right and hence not, there's nothing we can do about it. Now let us look at an even length palindrome. When we're looking at the even length palindrome, the value of low is 1 and the value of high equals to 2. String we are looking at is BB. Now this is a valid palindrome and hence we would be updating our longest palindromic substring that we found to BB. We stopped here because when we try to lower the value of low and we try to expand the value of high, we get low as 0 and high as 3, which is EBBA. And this is not a valid substring, so we didn't do anything about it. Moving on to the next iteration, the value of i changes to 3. This is where things get interesting. A is a valid substring. We lower the value of low and expand the value of high. So we look in the left and right direction. We get a new string that is BAB. Now this substring has a length of 3. Hence, we would be updating our longest palindromic substring to BAB. And then if you try to navigate further left and if you try to navigate further right, you would be looking at a substring BBABA. Now this substring is not a valid palindrome and hence you stop. Similarly, if you try to consider the even length, now low equals to 3 minus 1, that would be 2, and high equals to 3. So the substring you're looking at is BA. Now this is not valid. So we won't be doing anything about it. Once this loop completes, you can see that we would have the longest palindromic substring in this variable. In this case, the longest palindromic substring is BAB or if you go ahead, it would be eventually ABA, but that does not matter since we are just concerned with finding one longest palindromic substring. And as we saw in our problem statement, ABA is also a valid answer. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. You can find the link to this problem in the video description below 
and please feel free to reach out to me in case of any doubts.